Uh, last estimates, um, I sought a question on notice, or well, following last estimate, I sought a question on notice seeking the department's estimates of um, uh, pub, uh, 2020 uh, projections of greenhouse gas emissions for a number of countries, Iran, Saudi Arabia, China, India and Brazil. And I, I was told the response was that there are no official estimates, even though I simply asked for estimates, official or otherwise. Um, now, a Google search shows that um, there are a number of unofficial attempts to estimate emissions in these countries by you know, in 2030. So, and, and my question did say estimate, not official, just estimate. So, uh, given the importance of these countries and their emissions, and how relevant they are likely to be to whatever es uh, efforts Australia makes to reduce its, its own um, emissions, I would have thought that having some understanding of the emissions of these countries might be worthwhile. Um, do you have any response to that uh, musing on my part? Uh, Senator, I think as a, from a global perspective, uh, you're right that it's important uh, to, to know um, all of the different countries' um, contributions and indeed under the Paris uh, Agreement and with the new uh, rule book that has been negotiated as of December, there now are rules in place that will ensure that countries such as Iran, Saudi Arabia, China, India and Brazil who have not had to report on their emissions to date will uh, in the future be required to report on a consistent basis with all of the other countries. So um, I agree, or we agree with your view that um, we ought to have a picture of what they are also doing. Um, whether the, the Department of Environment and Energy in Australia is able to provide an accurate estimate of what their emissions are in the absence of that information, that's, I, I think, a slightly different question and, and probably one I wouldn't be game to have um, provided you with an actual estimate. Notwithstanding the fact there are quite a lot of unofficial estimates around, and, and of some of those estimates would tend to suggest that China uh, is increasing its uh, emissions on a yearly basis uh, more than, many times more than Australia's total emissions. Uh, so I would have thought some sort of feel for that might be um, rather relevant. Can I also just um, maybe clarify, Senator, because you, there were two statements that you made at the beginning about whether countries were on track to meet their 2020 uh, targets, but also the 2030, and I think that may have got a little bit confused um, right. in, in the answers. So in terms of the question on notice, that was out to 20. 30, yes. Uh, but on 2020, uh, there is more information in terms of um, what countries have, have done, including China and India, in, in that time frame. And I think another important feature of the, the Paris Agreement is agreement to undertake a global stock take. So in 2023, there'll be a, a global stock take of how countries are actually tracking towards their commitments and what does that actually mean for the goals of the Paris Agreement. And it's actually before that, that um, countries would consider about what, if anything, they would do to increase their targets in 2025. I see, 2023. Yeah, the global stock take will occur in 2023. All right. So, ahead of that, uh, will the department consider est uh, establishing its own estimates, not necessarily official estimates from the countries in question, of their uh, greenhouse gas emissions uh, somewhere between the period 20, for the period somewhere between 2020 and 2030? I mean, there's a difference between keeping track of, I think, the official estimates that countries provide to the UNFCCC, um, other estimates from international bodies, and also some of the, you know, statements or policies and projections that would appear on websites or statements. Mm -hmm. So on those, um, I mean, it, it's sort of we don't have estimates, but we do track those things very closely as well. And you that do. does help us inform what Australia's uh, positions and targets should be. All right. 
So are you in a position then to uh, provide uh, this committee with your best estimates as to this situation in Iran, Saudi Arabia, China, India and Brazil in relation to their emissions? Senator, we can take that on notice just um, as long as you're happy that we'll, we'll, we'll add some caveats about some qualifications how we... are fine, yes. No problem at all. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Senator Lionel.